Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to create a simple back to school graphic using Pix. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. It's back to school time, and I know that a lot of Doodly users happen to be teachers. With that in mind, I thought it would be fun to make a very simple graphic using Pix, which is part of the same family that Doodly is from. So if you have Loomly Cloud, you do also have access to Pix. And that's what we're going to use to create a graphic. Here I am in Pix, and you will see that this is the same graphic that I made in the Doodly video. We're going to start from scratch. So go over here to New and choose Custom Image. And right now it's 1024 by 1024. It's a square. That's fine for our purposes today. So I'm going to go ahead and discard my other image. So we have a blank screen here. So how did I get that picture of the books? Well, you click here to image library and it interconnects to Pixabay. So you can enter whatever it is you'd like to enter. I'm going to just enter school. I like these books off to the side. So we're going to use this. And you notice it doesn't really fit my canvas. So you can resize it and then position it. And I think that Something like this will be fun. We don't need to see the whole thing. And then we wanted some text, right? Remember I had um, Welcome to Room 402 or whatever. Now this is up to you. It depends on if you're going to import this into Doodly or not. If you're just going to use it as a graphic, then go ahead and add your text. So I'm going to do this. I'm just going to say something like that. I did have a colored background behind this. How did I do that? Well, you go over to the shape tool and by default, it's a square and that should be okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and do something like so, and I'm going to change the color. Let's make it orange, apply. And you notice it's in front of my text. Well, to move it, you just go here to the layers and move it. Let's add an outline to it. So again, shapes, and we're going to just do this to make it fit. Okay, so I used my shape tool, and it's going to be the wrong color, and I don't want to fill, actually. So I'm taking the fill color away, and I'm turning on stroke color. And now you can see we have a black stroke. I can change that color. Let's make it the orange. and apply and you can see I have to adjust my um, shape just slightly to make it fit here properly so just bear with me and there we go so now we have an outline and that's basically it it's ready to be exported hit export give it a name and save it now you can use that graphic however it is you'd like if you want to use it in doodly you can certainly import it into doodly now I am going to do that. I'm going to bring it into Doodly, but I want Doodly to actually write some of this stuff. So I'm going to get rid of this. So I'm going to go to text and I can just turn it off. And I'm probably going to turn off this rectangle as well. And I just want this. Okay. So I'm going to export this now. Come into Doodly and let's delete this. I go to props, import, and I'm just going to bring in the basic one and go back to pics. And I am going to hide this and the outline. And then that little rectangle, I'm going to turn that back on. And at this point I can go ahead and crop. And that's fine. And I'm going to export this little rectangle. I go back into Doodly, I can import it. And I'll want to resize this. And let's put our text in here. Word wrap. And the advantage of doing it this way is then these can all draw on separately. So I can animate this now. So for example, let's 
go ahead and click our books. Let's use our pencil icon and tell this to fade on. We'll do the same with this rectangle. Fade. And then this, we will slow down just a little bit and let the hand draw that on. And I'm just gonna make these like half second fades so they just come on really fast. And if we preview it, we have the hand working on our graphic, okay? Settings, I'm turning off that eraser. If you recall in that original graphic, I had a little cartoon character and I made that in People Builder, which is also a part of the Voomly Cloud family. So how do we do that? So let's just start with a new one. Create new, and let's just give it a name, teacher. Create. I chose a female today, let's choose a male. Okay, I like this guy fine. Now let's build him. We want some hair for him. And his face, let's see, we want him to be happy. It's back to school, right? And then a shirt, like the orange shirt. He needs some sleeves. So we could either choose kind of these sweatery sleeves or the, the um, dress shirt sleeves, I think are better. And then legs, he needs some pants. I think just jeans will be fine. He's kind of casual and that's good. So I'm just gonna export him. And since it's going into Doodly, I'm gonna choose this, the Doodly DAS file. If I were just doing it for the graphic like we did earlier, I would choose PNG. But I'm gonna use this one. And I go back to Doodly, and I'm gonna go over here to Props. Actually, I'm gonna go to Characters. I'll import him as a character. Hit the plus sign. And just drag that DAS file in. position him and I think we will probably move these two over just a touch and we're almost done I'm gonna change this to a square video so I'll go to settings resolution Facebook and Instagram that turns that into a square I'm gonna select everything command or control a for all and then let's just make it bigger and this is pretty much ready. Let's add a little time at the end of the scene. And let's hit preview. And you notice how since Doodly recognizes this as a Doodly asset file, it already knows how to draw the character on. So I wanna take a look at that one more time so you can see it again. So the hand draws on the text and draws on the teacher. And there you have it. That's how you can use some of the Voomly Cloud products together. So People Builder and Pix along with Doodly to bring your back to school graphics to life. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thank you for watching.